Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of trailer explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit three, branch the flow from the module, build a simple flow. So this is the third unit of this project series. Here we are going to work upon the same flow that we had created in the first unit, which is new contact. We will be going through this and we will be making certain updates in order to fulfill this unit's challenge. So let's quickly go to our flows uh, here and just open up the flow on which we have to work new contact. Now this will open up the flow builder. Now here till now, what we have done is we have placed one screen component and there are input components that we have placed by the name name account which shows the account that we want to relate it to this contact which we will be creating or updating then uh, there is this toggle button as well so we'll see how uh, we can proceed further with this this was the first screen component that we had placed moving on next we were uh, getting the records to find a match of the uh, of the detail which we have input in the screen element so uh, it if it all it finds the match it will move ahead uh, the logic we are going to implement in this unit and this basically is getting the records if there are any record present in the org by the same first name and last name that we are providing in the input screen form Right now, moving on next, what we have to do is we have to add one decision element where the label will be update or create. So let's first uh, create this. So click on this plus icon and if you scroll, there is this decision element. Just click on this label. I'm going to paste it. API name will be auto updated. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to provide the label for the new outcome. So update existing is the label that we are going to use. So let's go there on a flow builder and label I'm going to paste it over here. API name will be auto populated. Now there are certain conditions that we have to fulfill in order to check if we really want to update our record. Uh, existing record. So let's go back there uh, on a challenge and let's see what all conditions that we have to add. So the first condition is update toggle dot value. We have to check if it is true and find a match is not null. Basically is null is false. So this simply means that we have find a match, right? And toggle value is equal to true. That means it's it, the toggle value specifying that we have to update. So let's go back there. Resource, go to resource. And here in the first unit, we had created this toggle, uh, toggle input component we had added on our screen, right? This is the same uh, variable uh, which specify the toggle. So I'll use this toggle dot value. So value will hold whether it is active or inactive so in the form of true or false so if it is equal to true that means i want to update this will specify that a toggle is suggesting that it is uh, it is checking for an update so if it is true and we have found a match that means an existing record is already there with the same name that we are providing in the on the screen flow input name component. Now here, what we have to add is contact from find a match here. We have to check whether just find a match we have to use, right? So I'll again add this contact from find a match just equals uh, is null. We have to use is null comp uh, uh, operator and is equal to false that means we have found a match and it is going to update it so uh, if these two conditions are met then it is going to uh, proceed with the updating uh, decision now default outcome we have just uh, we have to just change the label over here by the name create new so i'll go back there and paste this label in the label text area. So this is going to change it. So this one for update and this one is for new.
Now here, this decision element is, has been placed and it holds the condition. Now based on the on those conditions, those two conditions, it is going to decide which path is ha it has to follow. Let's quickly see what uh, this uh, action we have to perform on each of these uh, paths. So here in this unit, we have to do till here only. In the la now, the last unit is left. In that unit, we are going to see what action we are going to perform, if at all it is update or if it is create new. So see you in the next video. But before that, we have to check whether we have passed this challenge or not. So let's quickly save this. Go back here and click on verify step. Hopefully we should be able to pass these parameters to pass the challenge. See you in the next video with another unit of this project. This uh, It will be the last unit. So till then, take care. Thank you for watching.